So tennis is your sport and you're looking for some new eyewear. Well, I have some thoughts on that topic and I think you should stick around. Hello and welcome, I'm Eyeglass Tyler. I wanna to talk to you about some tips for picking out the right set of lenses for your tennis eyewear. First and foremost, I gotta say contrast is key. What I'll be talking about in this video will be some tints that you might wanna look at, the ones that you might want to avoid, and I'll also talk about some other features worthy of your consideration. The primary consideration here is for custom lenses, whether it be RX or non-RX custom made, there are some off the shelf options. Unfortunately, I will say that there aren't a lot of brands out there that are putting proprietary, exciting tint technologies focused on tennis. There are a lot of good options for sure, uh, but just not as much focus as I'd like to see. And so hopefully this helps you with getting a better idea of what to expect. If I've done a good job and at the end of this, you're ready to order, well, don't forget about SportRx. Thanks to our See Better guarantee, if you order from us, you have a ton of peace of mind. You're never stuck with something that you don't like or doesn't work for you. You have as long as 45 days with them, even if you get them in prescription or they're custom made, we're to figure that out. And we'll take care of you no matter what that means on our end. Do not hesitate to reach out to us because we also have opticians, very friendly, very knowledgeable, who'd love to help you get it right the first time. So reach out to us. Okay, let's start with my go-to lens tints for tennis. I like contrast enhancement, like I said at the top of this. And what lens colors would those be? The browns, your coppers, your rose coppers, even some lower light options like amber and maybe yellow. Well, what is contrast enhancement gonna do for you? Well, it boosts your color perception. It makes the differences between colors much more obvious, much more noticeable, which will help with things like spotting and tracking the ball. It also just helps with depth perception cues. Overall, a really good feature to have in just about any sport application, I would say. Also consider clear if you're looking for a good nighttime pair. And this is a little bit tricky because not every tennis court is the same. I would say that for the most part, I would expect that if you're ever wearing them at nighttime, you are under stadium lights and there's a lot of good light available. Uh, but still, you can't go wrong with clear. There's not going to be any color perception change, but it is going to get you the most light that you can make to your eye. I would recommend a good anti-reflective coating if you're going with clear, because that will help with the artificial lights and halos around lights will be much more minimized for sure. And now let's talk about yellow a little bit. Since we're talking about nighttime use, yellow can help to filter out the blue. Yellow can help to, again, boost that contrast and make it easier to track the ball to just increase depth perception cues. However, any tint for use at night is going to minimize light transmission. It's going to absorb some of that light, and so that light won't be making it to your eyes. If you know that where you're playing is going to be very well lit, then a yellow could be a good idea because it's not gonna to minimize too much light transmission, and so the, those bright lights should still be sufficient enough light, even with the light that's being absorbed by the lens, to help up your game. So keep those in mind. So what I tend to not recommend would be things that don't boost contrast. So we're talking gray, really and truly gray and gray green. There's a color that Ray-Ban makes that they call G15. That's the same, like that gray green sort of color. Uh, that's gonna not help because it's not gonna boost that contrast. It's not gonna make it easier to spot and track the ball. It's gonna be okay. It's just gonna be minimizing light transmission, but it's not gonna be helping. And if you can, why not go for something that helps? Also, I tend to recommend against polarized. You might be tempted to get a pair that's gonna be good for tennis, but also good for all around use, where I generally recommend polarized for all around use. I don't recommend it for really any ball sport. And the reason is it can affect your depth perception. The way polarized works is it's cutting a plane of light, the horizontal plane of light, so that it cuts glare bouncing off of other objects, which is another thing I'll get into in just a moment. Uh, but it can affect your depth perception. And when you're talking about a fast moving ball and knowing when to swing, depth perception is very important. And when I'm talking about the whole glare bouncing off of other objects things, yeah, great for just about every all around use. However, on the court, there's usually not gonna be a lot of glare bouncing off of the ball or the net or the court. And so I don't see much benefit to having polarized and there is the potential that it will be a downside for you. And so I think that it's good to avoid, uh, but again, overall, when it comes to lens 
options and lens features, I think that contrast is king. A few more features to be aware of to keep in mind for maybe some other needs that might be met by you. Uh, if you are a little more sensitive to light, mirrors can be a really good option. A mirror coating is a coating applied to the front side of the lens. It reflects more light back, which means less lights making it through the lens to your eyes. So effectively a darker lens. And so that can help quite a bit. Also gives you a little bit of customizability. Some people like the cosmetic side of things where it's going to give you some more customizability. You can get some fun colors, reds, blues, green, whatever. Uh, however, I like personally, first and foremost from a mirror, the optical benefit. And there is an optical benefit there for sure. Transitions is another feature that I do really like. I think that transitions can be great for this sport. It's not great for necessarily all around use, uh, just because the transitions, if you don't know what that means, it's a photochromic lens. It's light reactive. It's gonna react to bright lights. It'll get darker, low lights, it'll get lighter, uh, go from a clear or virtually clear to a dark state is what the lens will do. Usually this is reacting to UV exposure. So keep that in mind. If you're playing indoors, the transitions or photochromic lens isn't going to change at all. If you're playing outside in full UV, it will get darker. And then you keep playing into the night. Even when those stadium lights come on, it'll get to a clear state. And so there's something nice to say about that. Versatility gives you a little more functionality for sure in just the one set of lenses. Also at SporterX, we have lenses that we call sport optimized lenses, which are usually a lot of our sport optimized lenses are transitions lenses with some kind of custom tint involved. And so that's something that we have fine tuned for different sports. And there are a few really good sport optimized lenses for tennis. So definitely reach out to us and check those out. So that wraps it up for Tyler's hot tips for picking out the right lens colors for tennis. I hope that this was interesting. I hope this is what you were looking for. I hope you have a much better idea as to what to look for for your particular pair. Do not forget, by the way, if you decide to order about RC Better Guarantee, I really think that it is a great sense of peace of mind, especially if you're ordering online. You're never stuck with something you don't like or doesn't work for you. And our opticians will help you get it right the first time. No reason not to utilize us. No reason not to talk to us because we'd love to hear from you. So reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like. You can find relevant videos over here. And also we have great content on our social media outlets. I think you should check us out there too, because I think you'll like it. And you can find us at SportRx.